Uh, my name is Sandra Dorr, and my exhibition is called Lost in Translation, dot, dot, dot. Uh, the inspiration for the work, um, or the inspiration behind it for, uh, for the work is uh, my son, who uh, at the time was at Queens, and um, we communicated a lot by texting, but we also miscommunicated a lot. And uh, that was the starting point of me um, becoming interested in texting and um, what can I do um, to communicate better with my son. And I started um, using smiley faces just so he would always know that I mean well. And that was the beginning of uh, Lost in Translation. Now the word translation uh, to me also, besides um, the idea of uh, communicating and so forth, it is also about, uh, for me, about art making. For me, translating, uh, means making art because um, I, we live in a world uh, where you know things are thrown at us and we're trying to make sense out of it so we need to translate these things and I translate them visually or I'm trying to translate my findings so to speak visually. Painting behind me with the white panels uh, and uh, the collage uh, material and the three dots, there are actually two pieces. So there's the piece with 24 single pieces, which is 11 by 14 each, and then there's the three dots to the right of this uh, painting, which um, is called Eternal Hope and Ultimate Letdown. So my idea with that piece is, first of all, uh, when you do look at the collage work, you know, some of them seem a little bit more absurd than the others. Uh, the way I uh, position them to each other, you know, they, it's, they're meant to kind of communicate to each other. It's about um, ideas of like that we have all different identities, um, plural identities as well, uh, depending on when we talk, you know, who we talk to, our representation of who we are actually changes every time we, we text someone. Uh, so it's kind of all part of, of, of those ideas. And I used the, the cell phone, I actually used the, my actual cell phone to trace it, um, the, the shape in itself, because what became clear to me, it's about the object itself too. It has become some kind of a iconic item in our world. It was interesting to put the pieces up in this space. And so for uh, example, Absurd Obsession, th this piece, uh, which is made uh, with oil sticks and collage material, but I also used interference color. So once a piece was finished, I actually would use interference um, acrylic paint to retrace uh, the collage and the shape of the iPhone. And I was doing that because I was interested in uh, the viewer walking around my pieces and then suddenly realizing uh, that there is, um, when you stand to the right or to the left of the piece, that there's only shapes suddenly. So it's like that interference color that, you know, you can't really make out the actual collage in itself, but you just see that shiny um, interference. And so it, it, was make, it, was, it made me think of um, how we are shaped in, in today's world by the iPhone and by texting. So the, the painting behind me seems random. Right. And, uh, and is, 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 that, is that how you see it? Uh, I actually, I don't see it like that. I, I random in a sense, okay, I, I'm creating these pieces, these collages, but then um, I would take all these individual pieces and create one piece. So it's not random to me the way I present it. Uh, for me, this is the way the piece has to, to be um, at this point, uh, just because of the, the way the colors are in the collages, how they relate to each other, um, you know, by positioning uh, the number, the frame one with the frame two and so forth. Privacy paradox, like the idea um, came because we use our iPhones and we have them with us wherever we go. So in, in some ways we can hide from people because we don't have to have a discussion face to face, so it's just by means of using text. But at the same time, when we do have this object with us, we also are able to be traced where everywhere we go, like where everywhere we go. So I thought that's kind of interesting, like um, yeah, juxtaposing these two ideas or this duality between these things. And um, so like Paradox of Possession, um, I created a piece, like each single piece has like two faces uh, with like acronyms scratched into it. So it's kind of like the idea of we're hiding behind it, but also each face is slightly different with different acronyms. And uh, that was my idea of um, t wanting to talk about how we take on different um, identities when we speak with different people, uh, which I think this idea of plurality identities, the plurality of identities is quite uh, yeah, intriguing to me and how our, you know, how our representation changes as we you know, talk to different people.
I, I'm interested in, in creating work that you know, asks us to question things. I'm not just want to feed people with visual imagery. I actually want to um, have it out there like an investigation almost. Uh, what I would like with the work is that people will go home and ask themselves, you know, how does texting affect me and how do I relate to other people?